What's up guys, David here, and the iPhone 7 is on its way in, so you can bet that we're gonna be having a bunch of Bumble style videos coming soon. But in the meantime, we're gonna do a speed test that I've been wanting to do for a really long time now in the iPad Pro against the iPhone success. Now, some of you may be wondering why we're testing an iPad against an iPhone. And really, the reason is simple. The iPad Pro is using Apple's A9X chip, which is a step up from the chip found in the iPhone success. This more powerful chip may just give us a little sneak peek of what we can expect out of the iPhone 7, which is using the even more powerful A10 Fusion. But before we get into it, I wanna give a big shout out to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring today's episode. So with Dollar Shave Club, you don't need to choose between price and quality to get an amazing shave. DollarShaveClub.com delivers high quality razors to your doorstep so you don't have to deal with the hassle of going to your local drugstore and they do it for a third of the price of what the greedy corporations charge. Just go to DollarShaveClub.com, pick a razor that works for you and that's really all there is to it. Here is your chance to see why over 3 million members like me love Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is so confident in the quality of all their products, now you can get your first month of the club for free. Just pay shipping. After that, it's just a few bucks a month. No long-term commitment, no hidden fees. There's no reason not to do it. Get yours at dollarshaveclub.com slash buff. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash buff. All right, let's get right into the speed test. All right, so we'll kick things off by starting the stopwatches on each device and then move on to the first row of system apps where the iPhone success gets the step on the iPad Pro as it moves on to the gaming row. But its lead doesn't last for long as the iPad Pro just ripped through Asphalt 8 with both phones now neck and neck as they load up Angry Birds. And from the looks of it, the iPad Pro is loading up Angry Birds faster than the successes, giving it the lead as it finishes up with Angry Birds and moves on to Subway Surfers. So early on, it seems like the 2.1 GHz A9X under the hood of the iPad Pro is overpowering the 1.8 GHz A9 found in the iPhone success. And we haven't even got to the part of the test where I expected to make the biggest difference in lapse it, where each device will have to create a time lapse from the same exact video file. So here we go, the iPad Pro is now working on lapse it, which again is the single most processor intensive task in this whole speed test. And wow, the iPad Pro is just ripping through it faster than I've ever seen any device ever do so here at PhoneBuff, making the rate at which the iPhone success is processing the same video look almost slow in comparison. All right, so at this point, I think it's worth mentioning that the iPad Pro has a bit of a disadvantage for these last three apps, with it showing much more content on screen due to its larger size, which technically gives the iPad more things it has to load than the iPhone does with its smaller screen. But that didn't seem to matter all that much with the iPad finishing the first lap with a time of 1 minute and 23 seconds and the iPhone success still playing a bit of catch up here on the last few apps, finishing a full 11 seconds later with a time of 1 minute and 34 seconds. Now, an 11 second advantage in that first lap may not seem like all that much, but considering that the iPhone success is the fastest phone we have ever tested here on the channel, it's a pretty big difference, especially when you consider that the new iPhone 7 is packing Apple's all new quad core A10 Fusion chip, which looks to be even more powerful than the A9X found in the iPad Pro. So yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait for the iPhone 7. I can't wait to put it through the Phone Book style speed test, and I can't wait to see how it stacks up against the competition. But anyways, there you have it. The iPad Pro beats the iPhone's success by over 10 seconds, giving us a little sneak peek of what we can expect out of the iPhone 7. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.